Hey, I'm Carl, and welcome back to my YouTube video series. Found this knife set the other day. Old timer knife set, three piece set. I don't even remember which store I was at when I bought it. it may have been Walmart, I'm not sure. But I'm a sucker for the old style classics, even though most of them aren't even made in the US anymore. I still love the style. Had to pick it up, this three piece set, old timer. Features satin finished blades, wood handles. The biggest one is overall 5.95 inches. This has a lock back. The medium, I mean the small one, closed 2.6 inches. It's a Stockman. And the, this one right here, overall 4.55 inches. And it's a lock back, just like the bigger one. Here you go, here's the information on the back. Right there. This old timer product comes with a lifetime limited warranty. Visit pttbrands.com. This we go. What does it say? It's made at American Outdoor Brands. Made in China, right here. Here's the top of the package. Let's go and crack this thing open. Now, ironically, I have this buck canoe. I'm going to open it up with this buck canoe. I've also often wondered if Mr. Schrade and Mr. Buck were friends or could have been friends, I'm not sure. Both of them are classics. plan on taking this thing back anytime or ever. So let's just tear this thing up. Getting it out of here. There we go. There's one of them. Let's open the bigger one of the three. Here we go. Got them all three out. Let's get rid of this trash. Throw the trash can right there. I'm going to tilt the camera down just a little bit. Let's line these things up. And there we go. Close enough. Close enough. Zoom in. Let's, let's zoom in. Let's get a closer inspection on these things. There we go. That is really nice looking, isn't it? Come on, focus. I like it a lot. Old timer right here on the blade. Focus. Okay, there's no etching or markings down here. One, four, three, four, four, one, five. Really nice. Nice classic style. Fits my hand pretty good. No issues with that. There is no gap between the scales and the liners. Let's see here. The bolsters are one and the liners, they're separate. You can barely see a little seam in there. I know it's kind of hard to pick up on the camera. Lock back right here. 
does what it's supposed to do. Let's listen for listen for the snap. Come on, focus. There we go. And a little bit of grinding right there, but where's the snap back? Right there. Yep. There is not a stop in the center. Hmm. Pretty nice. I like it. Could be a good pocket knife, pocket carry. Let's go ahead and look at the small one, baby brother. Just like the bigger one. Come on, zoom. Come on, focus. Here we go. Let me zoom out a little bit. Then I'll bring this up. There we go. You see how much smaller it is? Now the bigger one does have a lanyard hole. small one does not. But, I can fit three fingers on there with no problem. Hmm. I like it. So, where is the... Uh oh There we go. Just kind of break it in a little bit. Where is the snap back on this one? There we go. Right there. Let's hear this snap. Hmm. Okay, the little stockman right here. Two blades. I love these little peanut knives. Probably my favorite thing to collect. There we go. And what blade is this one? If I can open it. Can't get my nail up in there. Huh, that nail nick is way down in there. So for the time being, don't cringe when I do this. little bitty blade. That one's not very sharp. This one is pretty sharp. But it's going to be sharp when I get my wicked edge on it. 1143415. That's probably the number of the set. Not the individual knife itself. These are almost the same length in the handle size. Here's the thickness of these two. Like I said, I'm a sucker for the classics. The classic styles. Let's put that one up. Let's put that one up right there. Let me grab a piece of paper. Let's give this thing a cut test. Here's the buck to open it up with. Let's fold this one up. Well, while we have this one open, why not, huh? Why not? Okay. I'm going to start with the small one. Here is the small blade. Like I said, this one was dull. It is cutting, but it's more ripping than cutting. Let's try this one. Yeah, that's a little better.
not as good as I like it, but it's going to be better. Let's try this knife. Ooh, that one cuts really good. Really nice. Whoops, got me a little nick in there. I'm happy with it, even though it's not cutting the best. Got a bigger one. Let's see what's up with this one. There we go. This one cuts best of the three, of course, because it has a little bit bigger blade, a little bit easier to sharpen. I'm happy with it. Is there a little nick right there? Yeah, there's a little. Very slight nick up here. I can feel it when it cuts through the paper. Right there. Little nick. Anyway, I do like these knives. And I got them somewhere in the $20 range for the set of three. And like I said a little bit earlier, I am a sucker for the classics. Check them out. If you ever see these, I encourage you to give it a shot. Got nothing to lose. Looks good in the collection. Great gift item. My name is Carl. I do appreciate you watching.